this is another fairy tale, but a little twist that you might not have heard before. Petite Rouge, a Cajun Red Riding Hood by Mike Artell. Back in the swamp, where dat Spanish moss grow, I heard me a story from a long time ago. In a little old house dat been built out of wood, lived a girl people called Petite Rouge Riding Hood. One day when her grandmare come down with the flu, Petite Rouge Mama told her what she got to do. Take her dis gumbo and tree or two sweater and some of this boudin gonna make her feel better. You can take the pirogue with that big long push pole. Then there's just one more thing that you need to do be told. Don't stop in the swamp. Don't you stop on the way cause the swamp's full of gators. Share that's where they stay. So you take that cat and the pirogue with you and bring yourself home just as soon as you're through. Petite Rouge take that food and her cat Tijon too, then jump in that pirogue like she told to do. Mama wave adieu and Tijon he wave back as he float through the swamp where the water looked black. They don't be gone long when they see by a stomp a big long green log that got plenty of bump. That log it come close to the pirogue and say, now what you two doing out here? See vous play. It was Claude, that, that old gator Petite Rouge got a haunch that old Claude Tinkin, he'd be having her for lunch. We taking this food to my grandma, she says. And I got me this pole, so you get out of the way. Pardon, mademoiselle. I don't mean to be rude. I just thinking that maybe you share some you food. A taste of that boudin or shrimp etouffee. That's all that I want. Then I get out the way. Petite Rouge raised that pole way up high in the air. And she look at old Claude and she give him a stare. I'm counting to tree. And if you still dare, this pole gonna hit you where you pot your hair. And when she say one, old Claude back out the way. He know dat the girl. She know for me what she say. Then Petite Rouge, dat Push that P rogue again, and old Claude closed his eyes, and old Claude start to grin. I got an idea, and I know what to do. I get me that food, and that little girl, too. That gator swim fast, and then quick as dem mouse, he got up on the porch of Grandma's old house. He opened the door, and then stick his head in, and then he see Grandma asleep in the bed. He tried to tiptoe so she don't hear no sound, but his tail bumped a shelf and two cups fell down. When they hit the floor, crash! It break both them cup and Grandma share hear it and Grandma wake up. Suck me! She exclaimed. I know this ain't right. Then she run in the closet and locked that door tight. Ha ha, old Claude laughed. You can hide, that's okay. In fact, it's more better with you out the way. Claude put on the nightgown and Grandmare's nightcap, then jump into bed like he taking a nap. He pull up the covers round his big old green head and pretend that he's Grandmare just lying in bed. And sure enough, right soon, there's a knock at the door and Claude say, come in. What you stay outside for? And in walked Tejon and Petite Rouge Riding Hood, and they look at that grandmare, and she don't look good. Petite Rouge, she said, Grandmare, your face, it's all green. And you skin got them bumps. Now what does that mean? Old Claude make a smile and he say, it that flew. It make me all green with dem bumps. That's all true. Why don't you come closer? Cause I want to see all that good food you mama don't cook for me. Petite Rouge Riding Hood and Tejon the Cat, they take a step closer from where they was at. 
Petit Rouge, she said, Grandmare, I know you've been sick, but I think my eyes be playing on me a trick. Your mouth kind of big and your nose kind of long, and it got me feeling that something is bad wrong. I've been climbing my, I've been rubbing my nose with them tissues, said Claude. And my nose looks funny because I rub it too hard. Now come one step closer, said Claude, kind of sweet. Because I've been thinking that maybe it's about time to eat. Petite Rouge and Tejon got up real close. When Claude smiled, Tejon turned as white as them ghosts. Petite Rouge, she said, Grandma! Your teeth big and white, and Tejon and me know that something ain't right. And that when Claude laughed and he said, Oh, may we? It ain't right for you, but it's sure right for me. Claude, throw off them sheep, petite brew, shout, Ay! It's that gator who want to make lunch out of me. Claude crawl out to bed and then onto the floor. Then Petite Rue, she know, got some trouble for sure. But Tejon the cat, y'all, he know what to do. He's smart for a cat. Yeah, you know that for true. When Claude turn his back, Tejon run to the table and jump up on top just as fast as he able. He find him the bottle that say red hot sauce. Then he reach back his arm and he give it a toss. He see Petite Rouge catch the sauce in her hand. Then he pulled out that basket, a piece of boudin. He tossed that boudin just when Claude start to hiss. Tejon cross his finger and hope she don't miss. Petite Ruse watched that boudin come fly through the air. Then she reach up and catch it, but guess who's right there? That's right, it was Claude. Petite Rouge knew one thing. Old Claude's mouth ain't open cause he liked to sing. She take that hot sauce and for you count to two, she soaked that boudin with that sauce, true and true. She shoved that boudin right in front of Claude's nose and about the same time, Claude done snap his jaws closed. He think he done bite Petite Rouge Riding Hood. And at first Claude be thinking she tastes pretty good. But then he stopped chewing and closed but his eye, then sit up and think, Maybe he gonna die. He make them backflip cause that boo dance so hot. And the next thing you know, his tail tied and them not. He dance all around, he don't know what to do. His mouth feel like fire, his nose burning too. So into the swamp with his mouth open wide, Claude jump in that water to cool off inside. And then from that closet, Grandmare, she peek out, cause she wanna see what been making Claude shout. And when she see Claude in that swamp jumping round, she come out the closet and dance up and down. Then Grandmare, Tejan, and Petite Rouge Riding Hood be rolled on that floor and they laugh they self good. Then Grandmare stand up and she dust off her clothes. She say, whoo! That food sure smell good to my nose. Now pull up a chair and let's take a look at all the good food your mama done cook. And soon they all eaten that shrimp etouffee, boudin and gumbo with lots of filet. And when they all true, Petite Rouge tell Grandmare, go sit yourself down in your big rocking chair. Grandmare, she sit down with Tejon on her lap, and soon Petite Rouge and them all take them nap. And folks in the swamp say that something, sometimes they see old Claude hanging round that old stomp of a tree. Cause Claude, that old gator, he finally cooled down, but when he see people now, he don't come round. Old Claude reckon people be too hot to eat. He don't know that was hot sauce done made him all heat. Old Claude, he been tricked. So it all worked out good for Tejon Grandmare and Petite Rouge Riding Hood. Thanks for joining me for this fun story. See you again online soon, friends.